Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. So let's open After Effects and start creating it. Create a new composition. Name it as Title 3. For this composition, I will set time duration to 2 seconds. All remaining will be the same. Here, first we will add our both text layer. So let's add the first text layer. Here I will increase the font size to near about 350. Here we will align this text layer. Align the text layer to center. Here I am using Montserrat font family, and font style to black. Download link for this font is provided in the description. For this text layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the text layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. If you want, to have just a single color. Then you can add fill effect. Here I will position the start and end position of ramp. Perfect. Now let's add the second text. Here I will reduce the font size. Position it to the center. I will set it to near about 80. Position it to the center. For this text layer, in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the text layer. Here you can set any color of your choice, here I will set it to white color. Now let's animate the text layers. For main text layer, in animate, select tracking. In range select a 1. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for offset. Change offset value to minus 100%. Now at 20 frames, change offset value to 100%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. In advance, change shape to ramp up. For animator 1, let's add property, position. Set position value for Y axis to minus 50. You can see the preview. Let's add property. Opacity. Set opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's animate the second text layer. In Animate, select Tracking. In Range select a 1. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for start. At 20 frames, change start value to 100%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to Easy Ease. In Advance, Change based on to words. For animator 1, let's add property, position. Set position value for Y axis to minus 20. You can see the preview. Let's 
Let's add property, opacity. Set opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for this text layers, we need to create shape layer, which will hide this main text layer area. Make sure you have not selected any layer. Select the rectangle tool. Now create the rectangle shape hiding the text layer. Perfect. Make sure the anchor point for shape layer is at center. You can press Y key on your keyboard, and select the anchor point, now position anchor point at center. Let's animate the shape layer. For shape layer, press S to bring up the scale. At start, create keyframe for scale. Unlink the scale. Change scale value for Y axis to 0%. Now at 1 second. Change scale value for Y axis to 100%. Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Let's create duplicate of this shape layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Position the shape layer 1, above the first text. For first text layer, change track mat to alpha inverted mat shape 1. For second text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 2. You can see the preview. Here you can see all the text layer and shape layers are revealing at same time. So let's adjust the position. For shape layer 1, we will place it at distance of 16 frames. Similarly place shape layer 2, at 16 frames. For second text layer, place it at 1 second. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new null object. Select all layers, parent it to null object. For null object. Press P to bring up the position. At end of the timeline. Create keyframe for position. Now at 10 frames. Change position value for Y axis as shown. Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Here you can adjust the position to lower the text layer. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our title is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.